Okay, so in the world of videos, slow motion videos can really help you guys to uplift your videography skills a lot. And it can also help you guys to uplift the mood of your video and set proper videos to enhance your whole video. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to make a proper slow motion video. So before that, I must explain what is FPS. And you guys need at least 60 FPS or 120 FPS for a slow motion video. So what is FPS? It is ideally known that a video is a combination of pictures. A human eye can perceive a 24 picture when rolled one after the other in one second can make one second of a seamless video. What I mean by it is that a video which is one second long consists of 24 pictures rolled one after the other in one second. That is what PS and FPS which is frames per second. So how many pictures are rolled per second? So 24 FPS is the minimum one and the most cinematic one. There are more options like 30 FPS, 60 FPS, 120 FPS which are more smoother options but for a human eye 24 FPS is the most cinematic one. So that is the reason you guys cannot slow down a 24 FPS footage and for that you guys need a 60 FPS or a 120 FPS footage or at least a 30 FPS also. A 30 FPS can be slowed down to 80% while a 60 FPS can be slowed down to 40% while the 120 FPS can be slowed down to 20% and it goes on. But in most cases 120 FPS is not there in many cameras as it is a costly feature but in most cases 60 FPS is there so you guys can use it. And in order to make a more smoother slow motion out of a 60 FPS or 120 FPS footage you guys need something called optical flow. Now remember, optical flow can smooth out your 120 FPS footage if you slow it down a lot. But if there is too much movement in that particular footage, then optical flow will create some kind of wobbling in the video and it might ruin your whole video at a lot. But if that is the case and if you have 120 FPS footage, then there is no need to use optical flow if it creates an wobbling kind of an effect. If it doesn't create an wobbling kind of an effect, then it is better because it creates a more smoother kind of a slow motion. But if it creates a wobbling kind of effect, then don't use optical flow. Okay, so in this particular video, I'm going to show you some examples of the difference between a 24 FPS when slowed down and the 120 FPS when slowed down. So this is a 24 FPS raw footage. And this is a 24 FPS which slowed down to 45%. As you can see it is very choppy because you can see the individual frames and this is the 24 fps footage with optical flow Yes, you can use optical flow with the 24 fps also it can be used with anything it can be used with 34 fps or 60 fps also to create a more smoother kind of transition. So what does optical flow do? It actually compensates between one frame and other frame and between it creates another kind of a frame which is in between of both the frames. So it does kind of a job when you have a 30 fps footage and if you want to reduce the speed more than 80%. So you can do it with that but provided that there is not much motion in the whole video. If there is much motion then this will be the effect. Like there is some wobbling kind of effect. But if you want to slow down a 30 fps footage or any other footage for that matter more than their specific range like for 30 fps footage you can slow it down to 70% also along with optical flow there can be a wobbling kind of effect but there cannot be also provided there is not much motion in the whole video so this is the 120 fps footage when slowed down and this is the 120 fps footage with optical flow and slowed down to 45% As you can see the optical flow is much more smoother than the 45% which was the normal one. But as there is not much movement in the video like the person is moving not at very fast pace right. But say the person is running and if you want to slow it down along with optical flow you will definitely see some kind of wobbling effect between the frames. And it is caused because of too much movement in the video. You can't help it with that. So you need to just slow it down to 45% or 20% 
whatever you feel like allowed with your footage. So you need to slow it down normally manually with your footage without any optical flow. So this is pretty much it. And in order to apply the slow motion in Final Cut Pro, this is how you do it. Okay, so now to reduce the speed, go to the panel right below the viewer, then go to custom speed and here there is rate duration. So you can decrease the rate from 100% to 45% or whatever the speed you feel like. So this is the way you do it. And with optical flow, this is how you do it. And for optical flow, go to the panel right below the viewer, go to video quality, then from normal change it to optical flow. And in Premiere Pro, not to use slow motion, we need to do the time remapping and all the stuff. And In Premiere Pro, right click, speed and duration, and here there is speed and duration and you can change the speed to whatever you feel like and you can reverse the speed also. The optical flow, you can find it right here. Now for optical flow, right click, speed and duration time interpolation and then from frame sampling change it to optical flow. So that is pretty much it, a short tutorial on slow motion and how you guys should actually edit your slow motions. So make sure to shoot in 60 fps or 120 fps if you have one to make sure to apply optical flow if there is not much movement in the video. And if you don't have 60 fps also you can use 30 fps and you can slow it down to 70% or 80% along with optical flow and it will in most cases it creates a seamless kind of effect but if you use 24 fps as you see right here that a 24 fps with optical flow slows down the footage smoothly you will notice that the footage has been slowed down properly accurately but there is some wobbling in the video it is because the individual frames are not matching with the next frame so there is some wobbling in the video this is the problem with optical flow so that is pretty much it and this is the final result Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you have liked the video. If you are someone who is interested in cinematography, photography and filmmaking then join my channel is the right, right, right thing for you to do. So come let's join our hands and expand our family as much as we can. And do let me know in the comment section down below about what you are creating today. Peace.